Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, the objective is to look at isotopes and determine what they are and what they are not. So we're going to look at isotopes mainly, really focus on what they are, but at the same time I want you to see clearly what they are not. Let's jump in with the definition. Okay, a couple key things you want to highlight here. They are atoms. Atoms that have the same number of protons. So if I'm talking about atoms with the same number of protons, I'm talking about the same element. All right, so I'm talking about atoms with the, of the same element that have the same number of protons, but they differ on the number of neutrons they have. So once again, we're looking at the same element. It could be carbon. Different forms of carbon, and the atoms have different number of neutrons. So the neutrons is something that can vary within an element. The protons cannot vary. If the protons vary, you have a different element. So the proton defines the element. The number of neutrons is allowed to change, and also the number of electrons for that matter, but isotopes deal with protons and neutrons. All right. I also call this different forms of the same element, and these actually are just naturally occurring. It occurs in nature that there are several different forms of one element. Although the periodic table only gives one box for an element, there can be several different forms of that element located within that one box. Here's a good example, hydrogen. Hydrogen actually comes in three forms. Now, the, f the question you have to ask is how did I you know, determine this was hydrogen? And the easiest thing for determining the, what element it is is to count the number of protons. And as you see here on the, on the left-hand side, I have one proton. So this has one proton, this has one proton, and this has one proton. And because it has one proton, I understand that is hydrogen. Awesome. Now, over here I have zero neutrons. Aha, here we go. That guy right there, I have one neutron. And over here, this and this, now I have two neutrons. So once again, they all have in common is they all have one proton. What is different here? They have different number of neutrons. So as they have different number of neutrons, they also have different masses. The mass number on the first one is protons plus neutrons. The mass number is, is one. Protons plus neutrons, the mass number for the second one, the mass number is two. And lastly, on the, on the far right here, the mass number is three. Here we go, this is helium. Helium occurs in uh, four different forms, as you see here. How do I know it's helium? Each one of these actually has two protons. And, you know, I could circle every single one of these. But it's clear, in red are the protons, and in yellow are the neutrons. So this one actually has two protons, and it has three neutrons. Well, the next one is definitely helium. I know that because it has two protons. And if you count one, two, three, four, I have four neutrons. Down here, once again, two protons, one, two, three, four, five neutrons. And lastly, two protons that identifies it as helium, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six neutrons. And if you added up the three and the two, you get five. If you add up the four and the six, the mass no four, two and the four, the mass number is six. Sorry about the pen going crazy there. And the 2 plus 5 here gives me a mass number of 7, and uh, a 2 plus 6 gives me a mass number of 8. Often it's actually written as helium-8 rather than the 8 coming first, though. So once again, the question here is how many protons does it have? It has 2. All of these have 2 protons. So to answer this question right here, how many protons? 2. That's right. It's helium, but there's several different forms of helium. And the way we know it's different is because they have different masses. Different masses indicate different number of neutrons. Okay, here's lithium. Um, lithium occurs in three different varieties. Lithium uh, 6, 7, and lithium 8. Uh, those being the masses. And how do I know it's lithium? Well, every one of these little pictures here, I have three protons. Three protons. Three protons. So I'm trying to drive the point home that isotopes have the same number of protons, but where they differ in the different number of neutrons. So the number of neutrons in the first one is going to be, you can count them, one, two, three. And the next one has one, two, three, four. And the last one it actually has five. So here we go. Another way to find this out is the number of neutrons is simply to take um, the top number is the mass number, 
definitely protons and neutrons. The bottom number is my atomic number of protons. And just do a quick subtraction. 6 minus 3 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 8 minus 3 is going to be 5. That tells you how many neutrons you have here. Because once again, the mass number is a combination of protons plus my neutrons. And if the 3 here represents my number of protons, a simple subtraction cancel the protons and you're left with the neutrons. So once again, um, same number of protons, different number of neutrons. The all in all, it's still lithium. Doesn't matter. So lithium, because it has three protons. Just varies in the number of neutrons in the nucleus. Okay, how do I know these guys are isotopes? Alright, how can I prove it? Well the first criteria is it must be the same element. Alright, this element is element number seventeen, which is chlorine. Okay, great. Let's do a quick little subtraction here. Okay, and what do we get? Okay, we're going to have 20 neutrons over here. And over here, what do we got? 18 neutrons over here. So we have 17 protons and 18 neutrons, and 17 protons and 20 neutrons. These guys fit the criteria for isotopes. How do I know? They have the same 17 protons, and they have a different... Yeah, different number of neutrons. What numbers do they have? They had 18 neutrons, and they also had 20. Totally, this is an isotope, guys. Okay, how do I know these are isotopes? Now, just uh, a little clarification here. The 14, that actually is my mass number. And the same way as my 12, the 12 actually is not dividing by. I'm just saying this is my mass number. So that's actually my protons plus my neutrons. So carbon actually has six protons. I'm going to write it like this. It has six protons. The 14 could actually be written over here as a 14 over 6 carbon. And the 12 could actually be written as 12 over 6 carbon. So if I do that, and then I do a quick little subtraction, 14 minus 6 gives me 8 neutrons, and then 12 minus 6 gives me 6 neutrons. So what I'm looking here is, uh, it's an isotope. Why? I have the same number of protons, and now varying number of neutrons, between 8 neutrons and 6 neutrons. Alright dudes, which ones are isotopes here? I want you to take a second here, pause the slide, and look at this. There's a lot of information here. I want you to figure out which ones have the same number of protons, varying number of neutrons. All right, hit the pause button, guys. Okay, I'm going to solve this now. I'm looking at something that has the same number of protons, different number of neutrons. First off, I'm going to just chalk this guy up in this corner here to a mistake. All right, he shouldn't be here. I'm just looking at him. Hey, he can't have five protons and be the same as this element X. First off, these are all fictional elements. Okay, um, so anyway, I've already used five as the number of protons elsewhere, so I'm not going to use this. So disregard the last example. Okay, so up here I have five protons, six protons, five protons, five protons, seven protons. The first criteria for isotope was the same number of protons. So I'm going to cross off this, and I'm going to cross off this. Alright, because this has six protons, and this has seven. And they don't match anything on this board here. Next question is, same number of protons, different number of neutrons. All right, surprisingly, I'm actually going to cross off this guy over here, all right? Because I do have the same number of protons, but I also have the same number of neutrons, because the mass number is 15 and the mass number is 15. I'm just gonna, actually going to cross this off. I need to have a different number of neutrons. All right, 15 minus 5 tells me there's actually 10 neutrons, and 16 minus 5 tells me I have 11 neutrons. So what do I have? 5 protons, 10 neutrons, 5 protons, 11 neutrons. All right, these two are my survivors, they're my isotopes, all right? Hope you got that one right. On this slide, same way, guys, I want you to take a look at this and tell me which elements are, uh, which atoms here are isotopes, which ones have the same number of protons, different number of neutrons. Once again, press pause right now, try it on your own. Okay, in order to be the same number of protons, I must have the same element. So I'm looking for two or more of the same element here. This is gone. I'm going to eliminate this and this because I don't have two or more of the same element. I'm looking for the element, this fake one, this uh, fictitious element called R, and I have to figure out which one is uh, right. 
Well, these two are the identical elements here, so I don't have a different number of neutrons. It can't be then. The only one it can actually be is going to be this one. The different number, of, the different the mass number, 21 and 20 being the mass number. All right, so that's my mass number right here. And it's my mass number. It's protons and neutrons combined. So different number of uh, protons and different number of same protons because it's the same element must have a different number of neutrons in order to have different mass numbers. Alright guys, and I think uh, we're going to look at this one now as the final one. Mixing up how I write the elements out, the question is which ones are isotopes. Once again, the test is same number of protons, different number of neutrons. So let's start off. Which one has the same number of protons? Okay, uh, it's definitely not going to be, there's no Z here, there's no W, and there's no repeating Y's. So they're out of the question because they don't have the same number of protons. Okay, the next one. Which ones are my same number of neutrons? I'm sorry, different number of neutrons. Okay, three elements left. X's, X's, and X's. Well, this has a mass number of 15, and this actually has a mass number of 15 as well. It is still the same element. So I'm going to cross that out. This has a mass number of 16. All right, so therefore, these guys are my isotopes. Same number of protons, different number of neutrons. And how do you say, how do you know? Well, this X has five protons. So that means this X actually also has five protons as well. The 16 can be drawn over on top, 16 over 5X. All right, this is actually identical to the slide back here, but I think I just kind of drew it a little differently, actually. Instead of the Z being 15 over 7Z, I just made it Z15. Okay, um, so I do think there are some very similar uh, appearances to the previous two slides, guys. All right, let's exit once again. We're talking about atoms with the same number of protons, but just varying or different number of neutrons, different forms of the same element, as I hope you have seen so far, and lastly, these all occur naturally. So, hope this sticks with you guys, okay? Enjoy.